What's up guys? Okay, so this is almost like a follow-up video of the previous video where I discussed the stretches for occipital pain, the stretches that you need to do to minimize your headaches, your dizziness, the pinched nerves in your neck. This one is going to focus on the mobility of the suboccipital joint and how it should be gliding because it is meant to glide, it moves and glides forward. When you've got adhesions or the sticky muscles in your neck, you'll find that it's very stiff, it's very tight. You'll get a lot more headaches, you'll get a lot more dizziness. Those pinched nerves are common. And uh, with thoracic outlet syndrome, this neck area is a huge problem. And a lot of people have cervical spine issues, develop TOS and other nerve problems in their body. So I'm gonna show you a stretch you can do to loosen this joint, the suboccipital glide that you're gonna have. And it's that movement is very difficult if you've been static for very long or you don't twist or move because of the pain. You'll find that this next thing is very difficult to get going, but once it's going, you'll feel that your head glides more and it frees up that neck pain at the base of your skull. It's also a very important area because this is where the brainstem comes out. And if this is locked up, you're gonna feel that you've got a lot of brain fog and less energy and you're gonna have a lot of other symptoms and problems that come along with having this lack of mobility. Okay, so what you wanna be doing is you're going to be grabbing the base of your skull you're going to put your fingers right under the base of your skull you're going to grab the back of your skull like that and you're going to push down and forward just a very gentle light movement as you're pushing it's going to be down forward and you're going to see that gliding and you're going to actually feel it and it feels quite strange when you're first doing it because it feels like your body's fighting it and your neck's so tight that you can't do it and it's stuck but the more you'll do it, you'll feel it starts gliding. And as it's gliding, you'll feel a lot more of the pressure released. You'll feel a lot better. You'll have a lot more mobility in your neck. And whatever you're struggling with, the more you do this, the more you stretch it all out, you're gonna feel a lot better over time. Wow. Getting rid of those adhesions and those sticky muscles is what's limiting you and keeping you in that bad position and bad posture and everything stuck. Put your thumbs on the base of your skull feel around you'll feel the dip there's a hard bone and then a hollow point on the sides of your of the base of your skull you grab there you grab the rest of the back of your neck stay in a neutral position relax and simply push down slightly and forward it's not a hard motion it's very gentle it's just a little down and forward push very gentle so your body's going to fight it in the beginning but once you get it going you'll feel that your neck is gliding and it starts moving and it does feel a little bit strange it feels like a, a glide that you're not used to so it's also very important to loosen this up because this is where the brain stem comes out of and if this is locked up you're gonna have a lot of brain fog you're gonna feel tired all the time and it's gonna worsen all your other symptoms because this is where all the nerves come through if this is stuck you're just gonna feel a lot worse so I hope this helps you I'll see you guys soon